Hello, I wanted to um, make a video, two videos actually, on uh, how to use Terra Recon to make uh, cow reconstructions for CT angiograms of the head, for, uh, to give instructions for CT technologists and radiologists who um, are trying to make these reconstructions um, uh, to send to PACs to be read for CT angiograms of the head. So um, I'm going to make two videos. The first one is going to be a general educational video. That's this one with general information and then a review of the written instructions. And then I'm going to make a demonstration video. So first we're going to talk about um, how you take this data set, you load this data set for CT angiogram of the head and neck data set, and then make it into these uh, cow reconstructions and send them to PAC. So um, we're going to be making 3D cows with bone, with the skull base on. We're going to make a 3D cow without bone, same thing, just minus the bones. And then we're going to make a MIP cow, which uh, is the same as this 3D, and uh, we just change it to MIP type display. So uh, first of all, we're really only talking in this video about how to make these offline cow recons, these things. But the whole CTA head protocol, which will be sent to PACS, will have other information, including thin cuts, less than one millimeter axial source images, and then we're going to have some slab, MIP slab reconstructions. We're going to do five millimeter uh, thick slabs and, and three planes, axial, coronal, sagittal plane, and those are going to include the head and neck. And then we're going to do some 20 millimeter thick slab uh, MIP recons. And um, we're also going to send those in three plane to include head and neck. And then we're going to send our offline cow reconstruction. So this video is how to make these offline cow reconstructions. Just, uh, just for information, these 20 millimeter thick slab recons, here's an example of a one slice of those, a 20 millimeter cut. And it's going to have the bones on it and the vessels all the way out to the edge and the veins. So when we're doing our cow recons, we are going to be removing some bone and veins and maybe some of the peripheral vessels. But uh, we want to focus on the cow for these and that other information will be on these, uh, this other series that are sent, these thick MIP, MIP slabs and the thin source images, axials. All right, so what is, what is a cow? Cow stands for circle of Willis, C-O-W, cow. It's the arteries in the head. It is not the arteries in the neck. It is not the veins. The veins get in the way of a good cow picture and the neck arteries get in the way of a good cow picture. So this is an example of, first of all, these are the examples of the veins in the head, the dural venous sinuses, and then these, these deep veins that go in the brain. And here's, a, here's a, an, actually an MR angiogram example of showing the arteries, but also all these veins overlying it. And we can't uh, just film out a cow with all these veins in the way, or we won't be able to see the arteries. So let's review the circle of Willis. So this is the cow. These are the arteries that run at the, the base of the brain. And going forward is the anterior cerebrals, going to the side of the middle cerebrals, and going back to the posterior cerebrals. Now you have to pay attention to these posterior cerebrals because we have to make some some cuts uh, around these posterior cerebral arteries. So pay attention to those. All right, now I'm gonna review some cuts that we're gonna use to remove uh, the veins. So one is called, I like to call it the gut cut because it reminds me of gutting a fish. And it's a way to scoop out the veins that will block our view of the cow. So these central veins in the brain that run in deep here, they lay over top of the, the cow and they obscure our view. So we have to remove these. But we can't go in and cut them out right here or we'll be cutting out this basilar artery and these posterior cerebral arteries. So all you have to do over here is take this image and tilt it back. So you grab the front of the head, you tilt it back, and all of a sudden these veins move out of the way. You tilt it back and you position it until you can see these veins between the posterior cerebral arteries and off of the basilar artery. And then you can just make a cut, the gut cut, just carefully come in here along the posterior cerebral arteries and come across the middle and then come back out here and you'll be scooping these veins out. That's a very important cut when you're making the cows. All right, then uh, another cut you're making is called the Batman cut. I call it the Batman cut because it has a little bit of the anterior cerebrals. So you come in here and you cut the anterior cerebrals and the middle cerebral arteries and the posterior and the middle. And you end up with a cut that looks like Batman. So you come in here and go around everything. And then you, when you cut, finish, you come around back to the outside, let it go, and then you remove everything. It's called the Batman cut. All right, now what are the enemies of a, of, a, of a good cow? These are common mistakes. One is you don't cut off enough bones and cartilage. You have to cut off the bones and the cartilage so you can see the cows. Leaving overlying veins. You've got to cut the veins out so they don't block your views of the artery. 
small pictures. You can't make little tiny pictures in the middle of the screen because if we have to mag them up on packs, they get they lose all their resolution, get blurry. You have to make sure your pictures fill the whole screen. Okay, another poor windowing. You're going to have to use this tab here. So if you go to template, this tab, use the cow one. This will get pretty good windows to start with for these 3D views. This cow. So if you double click one, click the one that has the white background, not this one above it that has the black background. And this one, this one. If you double click that, that's a good starting point, but you're still going to have to tweak the windows a little bit. You want to tweak the windows so the MCA is nice and shiny and clear, some white shiny on it. So uh, tweak the windows. And then the other thing is uh, not enough pictures in a series. If you only save 12 pictures per series, then the motion is going to be very choppy and you're not going to have all the, the views we need. All right, so what are the goals of our CTA cow recons? Well, we're going to make a 3D cow with bone, and we're going to use the 3D batch or the batch 3D tool to make a movie for this one. So for the 3D cow with bone, we're going to use batch 3D. And then we're going to make a 3D cow no bone here. And that we're going to use the batch wizard, or people call it F8, because that's the way to pull it up. We're going to spin it superior to inferior from the anterior view, and then we're going to spin it left to right from the anterior view. We're going to make two series for that. Then we're going to make a MIP cow. We're going to just change it to the MIP view, and then uh, we're going to make two series out of that using the batch wizard also, spinning both ways again. So we're going to end up with three recon types the um, 3D cow with bone, and th uh, 3D cow no bone, and then MIP cow no bone. So three recon types, and then five series. We're going to have one series of this, two series of this, and two series of this. All right, so here are some written instructions for how you make these series. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, read these, and then you can listen to this while you're doing it. It might help. So the first thing to do is to make um, the 3D cow with bone. Then you're going to make the 3D cow without bone. Then you're going to make the MIP cow without bone. So first, make the 3D cow with bone. So go to your patient list, double-click all the thin cuts, and view them up. And then uh, mag it up one-on-one -on -one and view it in a 3D mode from the left. Then select the template to get um, a cow template with the white background that I showed you above to get a good starting point for the windows. Then cut off the uh, neck from below the skull down if it's included, if you have a data set that has head and neck. Then cut off the top of the head about halfway down, not quite halfway down, tilt a little bit to the back. Then switch to the head view. And, and cut off uh, the back of the head, bring it in all the way to, this, to the back edge of the verts, where you see the verts coming in from the bone. Then tilt the head back and scoop out the veins between the posterior cerebrals. Then go to the head view and then zoom and tweak the window and get ready to make a movie and then film it out on 3D batch. So open up batch 3D and then tilt a little two times to the left, tilt it, tilt it kind of two views to the right, and then tilt it two front and then two back and then save that as a movie. And then, now we're going to make the 3D cow without bone. So go to the 3D view from the left, and then automatically remove the bone. Be sure that you're using the button that says head and neck. If you say remove bone body, it's going to take all the vessels out of the way. So it's a little bit tricky, but be sure you're using the automatic bone removal tool and select head and neck. Then um, look at it from the left side and cut off the top a little bit more, and you'll be able to see the MCA loops. Cut down all the way to just to the, just to the top of the MCAs. Then cut off the face because you'll have the nose and all that stuff getting in the way. Then change to the head down view, head view, and make the Batman cut and remove everything except the cow. Then tilt it a little to the left, tilt it a little to the right, and circle and remove the, some any veins and little leftover bones and cartilage. Then just make it look good. So window it and. Um, and then center it and zoom them up and be sure you're filling the whole screen and then use this time use the batch wizard or f8 to preview first and then output two series preview it first so that you make sure you're filling the whole window and then make sure that these are the numbers that you have there so uh, and be sure you're using 36 images uh, 360 degree angle and um, the thickness is irrelevant leave it it'll be at zero and be sure that you hit field of view hit current hit current Otherwise, it'll shrink it down when you're trying to film it. And then name it and send it to the patient list. So preview it first and make sure it's good. And then, and then hit output to send it to the patient list. All right, and then you're going to make the MIP cow movie. So cl right click the green lettering up here. Change 3D to MIP and then change 8 to full. And then click the CTA window at the bottom to get a good window. And then tweak a little bit. And then make, uh, make two more movies using the 3D batch. It looks like I'm out of time. So that's the end of video one and see video two for... Uh, examples of how to do it.